You are watching World's Fastest Drummer Quest for Speed. Since the beginning, man has loved to beat on things. When Ugg pounded his first log, Nudu was there to say, Ika Duga Daga. As man's skills grew, drumming became an integral part of our society. With speed and vigor, these gladiator-like communicators have led us in and out of battles and celebrations for centuries. Quest for Speed is the show that takes a close look at these daring contestants as they battle to become the world's fastest drummer. Hi, I'm Johnny Rapp, and welcome to Quest for Speed. On today's show, we're going to take a look at the girls of WFD and how one young lucky lady can become the next Miss WFD. We have some new categories in Extreme Sports Drumming with emphasis on Extreme. <laughs> And next, there's drum pads, which takes us on a tour of the WFD champions' cribs. Now let's take a look at the champions of WFD, starting with yours truly. Who will be crowned the new WFD champion? Will it be Johnny Three Bomb Rab? Or Art the Godfather Verdi? Or Tim Silverfeet Watterson? How about Seth Bad Boy Davis? Or Jotan Shaken Vibration of Fanador? Or will it be Mike Demand Mangini? Rules for WFD include single strokes or hits only for both hands and feet. No doubles, no buzzing, no pressing. Time limit is 60 seconds. Up first is Johnny Three Bomb Rab. Johnny's first record was 933. Johnny Rab became the world's fastest drummer when he played an unbelievable 1,026 beats in just 60 seconds. Now we got a TV show going. We got different people involved. You never know what's going to happen in the future. So we have ring girls. There is actually that. Hey, this is Ricky Rocket from Poison, and this is Johnny Rab, and we're at the Extreme World's Fastest Drummer Contest. Johnny decided to use the opportunity to break his own record. His first four attempts fell short. Right. Slow, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but on his last try. Johnny pounded an astonishing 1,071 beats per minute, smashing his previous record by a full 45 beats. We all know music is not a competitive sport, but it's interesting to see it when you take it to this almost athletic extreme. I've always had imagination of drumming being something like a sport event, almost like boxing. Up next, we have Art, the Godfather Verdi. Can the Godfather break Johnny Three Bomb Rap's awesome run of 1,071? Art Verdi. Art, will you tell us what, it's, what it was like to be the first person to break the 1,100 record? Oh, it felt terrific. Uh, I know I had the goal set for Johnny's record at 1,071. I noticed a lot of guys here, they give it everything they got for the first 20 seconds, and they're really incredible. Then all of a sudden, 40 seconds goes by, and they lose all their, all their score. The key to this is you have to maintain a top speed for 60 seconds. There it is. The Godfather moves into first place with 1,116 and becomes the first person in history to play 1,100 single strokes in 60 seconds. The event is basically, you know, an extreme sport as far as drumming. This is the next level of drumming. This is about speed, power, and endurance. Baseball, they have home run contests, so for us, we're having some fun seeing how fast we can go. It's such a physical instrument, drumming, that it just broke out as an extreme sport. Something to be said for the fact that when you have the kind of dexterity it takes to really, you know, get in what the finals in this, you know, it helps in your everyday playing. You are watching World's Fastest Drummer Quest for Speed. 
Don't touch those controls, because coming up, we'll see if one of these world champions can knock off the Godfather and lay claims to the WFD championship belt. Which one of these beautiful young ladies will become the next Miss WFD? If the judges have any sense, of course I'll pick Jasmine. Of course Jessica's the one. Jeez, these people need to get a clue. Then there's drum pads, a visit with WFD champs and their cribs. A lot of times I'll go to a Cracker Barrel restaurant, family restaurant, and uh, I like to go there and even I'll prefer those rocking chairs. I find a lot of people get upset when, you know, there's a long wait because on Sundays it gets just packed at those places. Not me. WFD. We'll also go to WFD World Finals and see who takes home over $12,000 in grand prizes. Then it's drummers and non-drummers competing in Extreme Drumathlon. So it'll be facing right there. You'll be looking right at it. I'll be sitting right here. You'll be sitting right here. We'll move the drum pad forward a little bit and give you a little leg room right there and mount it down to this bar. Well, how fast y'all run around the track? <laughs> Stay tuned, because the big question is, can any of these contestants outsmart this guy? 